This is week three in Steve Cook's big program. It's week four. I'm too dizzy for this. <laughs> Hello, so it is a beautiful Monday morning out here in BC. I'm just chilling outside with my coffee. So looking ahead at this week's schedule, I found out that it, the workouts are pretty much the same for this week as last week. Uh, so we have another chest back shoulder day today with a little bit of cardio at the end. But they're switching up the amount of reps we do, increasing the cardio a little bit and changing up the weight on some of the exercises. So yeah, just minor changes, but still changing up the workout for us. Today is also a day off, so I got a little bit of running around to do. I'm gonna go pick up a nice tripod, flexible tripod, so I can film a little better in the gym. You should see the things I do for you guys, the setups that I make to try and film some stuff. It is pretty creative. So yeah, I'm gonna run a few errands, pick that up, and then go work out, and we'll go from there. All right, so I went in to go get the flexible tripod for my phone, because that's what I use to film, and they didn't have it, so I have to order that online, but it'll be cheaper like that anyways, I think. But I did walk out with a Fitbit. <laughs> I've been debating it for so long, and they were right there, and the guy talked me into it, so gonna track some steps, and it'll be easier to track my heart rate doing the cardio, but yeah, I know, Steve raves about these, so I had to had to invest. It's been an expensive day too. Not only did I buy that, I'm gonna buy the tripod thing later online, but I also racked up my credit card with paying for this program, because the monthly payment came out, even though it's totally worth it, not complaining about that, but I also paid for my competing membership with BCA BBA so that I can compete, and I paid for my hair, makeup, and tanning for the competition, and that stuff for a chick ain't cheap okay guys you're lucky all you have to do is the tanning but the hair and makeup on top whoo but you know gotta look fly on the stage that was that extra day. Things like the shoulder press, I feel like I'm improving on the behind the neck shoulder press because last week I didn't do as many reps and the weight was lighter. But this week, like I said before, they are changing up the rep range and stuff like that. So we actually had a smaller rep range, so I increased the weight, so that was nice. So it's really exciting for me because I feel like I am maintaining my muscle or at least like still making some while shredding and losing body fat so that is a ridiculously good feeling because during my first show i felt like i lost muscle so this is like woo! i'm getting really excited to step on stage and showcase what i have to offer so got my fitbit on so let's see what we got here i wore it halfway through the day so i've got 5516 steps i feel like that's not that much like steve says because this is who i learned it from it's always good to do 15 minutes of stretching for every hour you work out. And right now, I am just rolling out my calves here. Uh, it really hurts, but it is leg day tomorrow. Good morning. It is day two of week four of Steve Cook's Big Program, and today is another leg day. And I'm really actually excited for this leg day, you know, some more front squats, and we got our reverse lunges and some deadlifts. I like this day. So yeah, really focusing on getting this workout done. I have to get it out earlier than I normally would, just because I donate blood later today, so that's always good. Always about giving back, saving lives here. So anyone who does it, kudos to you. And for people who are scared of needles, that's unfortunate. But if you haven't and you're okay with needles, then I really encourage people to do it. It's an amazing opportunity and it's an awesome feeling and it takes like no time at all. So donate blood people. And side note, my calves are still really tight. So hopefully I can walk by the end of this workout. All right, so just here donating blood.
things are flowing real good right now. So the nurse actually got really mad at me because I didn't want to eat any of the cookies that they offer after to get the blood sugar up, but I brought my own food, so that's what I insisted. So she made me pound a bunch of water, but that's okay, water's fine. And I'm gonna replenish myself with some protein and broccoli. You know, you want that protein in after donating blood, but you know, cookies would have been a treat, but it's not a high carb day till tomorrow. So I'm waiting for tomorrow and I'm sticking to my plan. I have willpower. So it's definitely not normal to donate while dieting in prep, but I was due um, for a donation and I donate every time I can. I book my appointment so that I can donate as soon as possible. So like I said, I encourage everyone to donate or at least go try and donate. They need more donors. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, so that would be day three. So we have another arm day, arms, um, cardio, and abs. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. It switched from what we had last week. So last week for arms, we did some easy bar um, preacher curls. We did bench dips, and we had the spider curls in there. But now we're going back to what we had originally during our week one which is the dumbbell preacher curls, the reverse curls, and triangle push-ups. But we're keeping the tricep push-downs. We've kept those since the beginning, so that's nice. Um, legs were good. Everything went smoothly. Uh, <laughs> even though I gotta watch my weightlifting today just because I did donate blood yesterday, but we're all good, everything is fun. I just wanna be easy on the arms. Uh, just to be safe because technically it is less than 24 hours since donating blood that I'm lifting, but whatever. And uh, actually my shoulder is the thing that's sore from front squats. Uh, just the bar kind of caught me at a weird angle, but I continued to do my squats even though it was kind of, you know, sitting in the wrong spot. So I got a nice little, you might be able to see it, I got a nice little red mark going on there. So I bruised it a bit. minutes with your heart rate between 145 and 165 is killer like seriously and you're not even on there for 35 minutes you're on there for like closer to 40 because you got to get your heart rate up there first and then do 35 minutes of it oh my gosh I'm dying see this is what I love about gum look at this so people who like gummy things it's like a cheat without even cheating now they just need to make a peanut butter flavored gum and I'd be totally fine Good morning. So normally I don't have my phone with me, but I decided to bring you guys along. This is like my morning coffee me time before, you know, put on all the makeup and get all ready for the day. So yeah, no, I just wanted to say that I think it's really important that you take time out of your day for yourself to just relax and regroup and just think about nothing. That's why I normally don't have my phone or anything with me, but I just wanted to say that. Day four today. Look at this before and after though. The things we do. At least I have eyebrows now. I just gotta be real with you guys though. Love y'all. All right, so the past couple days have been good. Just at the gym, finished up legs. I had to come here a little later because I worked in the day. And then I got off work and I didn't want to come in the gym because it was going to be busy. And with leg days, that giant set, and I wasn't going to try and fight for the machines. So I came super late, but it was super dead. So I got through the workout in no time. And it was a speed day, so it actually went by pretty fast. The chest back shoulder day was really good too, but 
my shoulders actually really hurt from those front squats. I did end up bruising it, so that actually kind of slowed me down a bit, but for the most part, it was a good day. All right, so I kind of have a reputation for making really good chocolate chip cookies. And my boss requested before I move that I make him some more. So here I am, eight weeks out, making chocolate chip cookies that I can't even eat. <laughs> That's called willpower. But seriously, they're so good. I will challenge not just your mom, but your grandma too. Look at those, fresh out of the oven. All right, so it's day six, people. Arms, abs, cardio. I'm not quite sure what I prefer. The 35 minutes of cardio or the hit cardio? Because it's only like dying for like 20 seconds rather than like, you know, being on a machine forever. What feels like forever. All right, and I have two things to comment on. One, shout out to the coach that the big program set me up with, Coach Allen, you are amazing, and it has been so awesome working with you so far. Two, if you're looking for someone good to follow that's all about tempo and control, Julian Smith. He's another Optimum Nutrition athlete. Um, he was actually running the booth at the Vancouver Expo that I went and saw, and he is awesome i think his instagram name is backwards smith julian but yeah no seriously follow him if you want some inspiration so i got given some samples of pre-workout and took that instead of my optimum nutrition gold standard pre-workout and i feel terrible like sick i'm gonna barf i might have to split this workup out and do the cardio separate like later tonight maybe with the abs too but right now I'm just gonna try and powerhouse through these arms. So managed to get through the whole workout, but definitely had to take it easy. I wanted to up my weights today, but I wasn't feeling it. Honestly, that pre-workout made me feel nauseated, and then afterwards I totally just crashed, and so I had to, I seriously had to baby it through that workout, but you know what? I'd rather get through it, do it, do it the best I can, even if it's taking a little bit more time in between sets, than not do it at all. And you know what, I'm gonna stick it out and do the cardio as well. Might not get that heart rate up there for as long as I want, depends on how I'm feeling, but still, like I said, I'd rather just try my best and do it rather than be like, hey, no, not today, so powerhouse through this one. I'm so happy that's over. Cardio done. And honestly, I'm so happy it is a rest day tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna sleep here till Monday. Okay, all right. Who needs to go on an active rest day hike tomorrow? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass out right here, okay? Okay, all right, good night. See you guys next week. I'm clunking out.